Hey everybody, happy Friday. Kat Savert here with another of our Friday devotion. January, we are looking at stories and scripture. How is God at work in our lives through the things that happen um, and through his word? So last week we talked about Damar Hamlin and the power of prayer. And man, what a blessing it's been to see uh, how God has been at work in that young man's life and restoring his body and the people of God praying. This week, I have a story of one that happened in our household as we started back to school. One of my kids got a ball for Christmas and they were so excited to take this ball to school to play a game that we got them a new backpack so that they could fit the ball and the backpack in. Um, But as they were trying to put it all together, we found some papers. They had asked me for help to make everything fit. And as I found this pile of wadded up papers, I pulled it out. And as I'm asking what it is, and they see the papers in my hand, this moment comes across my kid's face. And immediately the first words out of their mouth is, I'm sorry. And I wasn't quite sure what that meant. And as I opened the papers and unfolded the wad, I realized that there had been weeks of homework that was not turned in. And we had this moment of, right? What's that moment of where you've been caught or someone is asked, what is this? And there's a sin that is being brought up that you have to respond to, right? There's immediate remorse for my kid in this moment of, right? He had gotten away with it and I found this and now what do we do with it? Well, we decided the immediate consequence was that ball that we were so excited to bring to school had to wait until we figured out a plan with the teacher with what the consequence would be. Now, I met with the teacher and we came up with an idea and blessed teachers because they are way more graceful. And this teacher said, let's start new. Let's give them a new year, a new start right? Let's wipe it away. Let's not worry about it and let's move forward. Now I wanted there to be a punishment, right? We need a consequence in order to learn a lesson, to move forward. And she said, let's start fresh. What a great reminder it was even for me because I, I like grace, right? For myself and thank God, God gives me grace. But then when it comes to other people, sometimes I'm not as gracious or grace giving as I should be. And what a moment it was to go home and say, Hey, fresh start. Here's what your teacher said. So there's a verse that I think of that I love from Psalm 103. And it says in verse eight, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love. Verse 10, he does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, So far has he removed our transgressions from us. Now, I love this verse because we talk about in our family this phrase that it's never too late to right a wrong. It's never too late. It's never too late to do the right thing. It's never too late to say I'm sorry. It's never too late to um, ask for forgiveness or to tell what we've done. What are those things? Is there something in your life that you think, oh, too much time's passed, something's happened, or I can never fix it, it'll never go back. It's never too late to right or wrong. Mend that relationship, fix that thing. Maybe it's even in your relationship with Christ. Um, God says that as far as the East is from the West, so far has he removed those sins from us. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, but he is slow to anger and abounding in love. May that be a peace that God gives you or a joy that you feel today that the weight can be taken off, that God forgives your sins even better than us, right? Thanks to that teacher, new year, fresh start. What do you need a fresh start with? Go to God, tell it to him and allow him to give you the courage that it's never too late to right a wrong. May God's peace and his forgiveness give you such a blessing this week as you share that with others. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for your love, for your forgiveness, uh, for being slow to get angry. What a blessing and great reminder that is for us. Help us to remember it's never too late. Help us if we have uh, situations we need to fix that you would give us strength and courage to have the hard combos and to repair those relationships. We thank you, Lord, and we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on your week. See you all Sunday.